What's good, YouTube land? Sticking with Kamen Rider Geo, we have his Ride Watch Holder! Or at least the box for it. So, yeah. here it is. There's a picture of the toy right there. Geo right here. The Ghost Ride Watch. A picture of somebody in. Well, in this face, it's. Uh, Gates, Kamen Rider Gates, in a uh, in his uh, ghost armor, because at this point in the show, they didn't have they didn't have Geo using the ghost ride watch. So for all the product shots, they have Gates wearing it, and it's one of the weirder. Well, all of the ride armors are pretty weird. But just having, like, icons as shoulder pads is a bit weird to me, but... Oh, well. On the bottom, you have the toy again. Geo's face. We looked at that picture. We looked at that picture up there. How to play with it. Yada, yada, yada. Gotta get it out of the box. Got, gotta get it out of the box. And there we go. So it's a ride watch holder. It's like every other gimmick holder. It's it has no sounds, but it is just a chunk of plastic. But unlike all the others, you can actually wear it because it has the belt straps. I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this video, but just to show you, you you could wear it. I I've worn it. I've worn it before. Uh, I don't know. Yes, this one has. They both have the little belt loop thingy. That thing. And this thing holds two. Count them two. Ride watches, so. One like that. And. Goddamn! Uh, who should we put in there? Let's put another orange person in there. With, with guy And you can see, to activate them, you twist this thing. Twist, release. It's very simple, but this is actually what they wear on their armor, on their suit, to hold their ride watches. So it was, it was pretty cool to get, like, to have that kind of a role play toy. I wish they released one with the, like well, I wish I could get a second without the Ghost Ride Watch cuz I don't need I don't want a second Ghost Ride Watch. They did release a neon green ugly one of these for uh Kamen Rider Waz, but it didn't come with a ride watch or anything. It was just this by itself paint like remolded in horrible neon green plastic. Because Kamen Rider Waz also happens to have them on his armor. Boom. Yeah. Other than that, it's just... Just a hunk of plastic. What we're here for is the Ghost Ride Watch. So you can see it's... It's uh, gunmetal gray, bordering on black, and orange. Because he's a ghost and also a pumpkin. And, uh, you can see that there. It's number 48. What was the uh, Geo's? Uh, one. He is number one in the ride watches, I guess. So let's hear the sounds. It only has two phrases. Those eyes, that, that dark illuminate. Like the darkness illuminated looks 
Very cool. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what that means, but it has something to do with parkas or hoodies, because he, uh, he had, his story is he's dead, and he has to achieve these uh, 13 famous people who have turned into, well, icons, but they're, he powers up with them using hoodies, and it's, it didn't really, like, it was fun for the first half, but, like, up to the point where they just kept, well, it eventually got boring, because they were like, Oh, how, how can we prevent him from dying this time? We're going to make up some random bullshit. I'm dancing behind the freaking camera. You couldn't see it. Yeah. This is the first piece of ghost uh, legend stuff I have. And I just quite wanted it. So, uh, we're, we're going to bring our good friend in. The GQ driver. And we're going to transform. Hashin! So that was pretty cool, and as we can see, the uh, LED color has actually changed to match the uh, ride armor. And at this point, uh, Waz would normally come out and say, "Rejoice! He's the uh, uh, another a new legend is born, or something. Welcome, Kamurai Zio, Ghost Armor, or something like that. He is the." Ruler of time and space. I forget the phrase. <laughs> but it is always amusing. And now we have a more even looking uh, driver with a ride watch on each side. And we can activate a final attack. Which won't change much, but let's do it anyway. Which unfortunately, it just adds the like the of uh, the secondary riders, the legend riders like signature attack onto it. So like, Kamara Ghost is no Omega, Omega Drive, so it just added Omega to the time break. It didn't, and unfortunately, it didn't add anything to the LED. It just the LED still said time break. But that is it for. This and this, and on its own, this really isn't worthwhile. If you don't want the ghost ride watch, I would say completely skip this. It's cool. I like the fact that I can pretend like, you know, like I'm wearing something from the show besides the belt. And it's a neat place to hold your, hold two ride watches. But there is a better toy they released for holding ride watches. So, I'd say this is not a mandatory purchase. If you love the ride watches and you really want a DX version of the Ghost Ride Watch, this is the only way to get it, unfortunately. So, you will have to spend the, like $30 or so on eBay for this, which is around what I paid. But, since that would be such a short video... We're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. We have more ride watches! Joy! Rejoice! We have... One! Two ride watches! Ha! 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 Three ride watches! Ha! 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 Four ride watches! Five! And... Six. <laughs>
So many ride watches. At least these are all the ride watches I've collected so far. Where are we going to go first? Well, we're going to go not here. We're going to go to the other Henshin ride watch. The one used for Common Rider Gates. The secondary rider of the show. Unfortunately, I don't know what I did with its packaging, but I will show you the Ghost, or the Gaim ride watch packaging. Oh, here it is. I actually do have it. The Gate Ride Watch. Which I still don't know if we have a canon reason, like a reason in the show on how he got his ride watch. Because apparently, well, it's not apparent, obviously. At the start of Kamen Rider Geo of the series, uh, Gates showed up with the Ghost Ride Watch and I think the uh, one other Ride Watch, Drive. He showed up with the Drive Ride Watch. And it wasn't until later that we found out, oh, he stole them before he came to the past. Because he, he stole them from his time, which is 2068. Because apparently everything that goes, everything that goes to hell in 50 years. Basically what's happening now in the United States, but it's not, instead of Trump, it's a guy who has the power to stop time and well, similar to Trump. Okay. But here's the, it's small packaging. They're fairly, well, I don't want to say fairly cheap. On eBay, you could spend at the minimum probably 30 bucks, around, like around 30 bucks for each of these. Which I still think is ridiculous, but I love them, so I've done it. Obviously. I have a story about this one, which we'll get to. Uh, just showing you what it can do in the stuff. In uh, w a weapon that I haven't bought, because I don't buy very many of the common rare weapons. It's just mostly the belt and the gimmick items. But it's just showing you what to do. Again, sad Pac-Man. There's a picture. Uh, where's a better picture of... Common Rider Gates. There you go. His suit looked cool as well. It's just a shame he didn't get a special belt on his own. Like he maybe he could have gotten a, a Jikun driver that was red or like the similar color to match his ride watch instead of just the like basically the base version of what uh, Omogio used. But here's also the box for the Gaim one with a. Geo in Gaim armor. There's a picture of Kamen Rider Gaim right there. It's amazing that it's been six years since Kamen Rider Gaim. Which is basically... If I had to pick one of my favorite Kamen Rider shows. And the, the, the rock seeds do look hilarious right there. So does Gaim's chest or face as the armor. It looks better in the show than in pictures. Although I do like the Kabuki style helmet he gets. And his uh his eyes do actually change. I believe that that says Gaim right there instead of Geo. But we're gonna take this off. Because it, both of the riders can use all the ride watches. It doesn't really matter who we transform with, but let's do gates. And he I think he's the only one that has a yellow LED. Everyone else has, like, a white LED. Well, okay. Geo has a pink LED, but white, white, white. Oh, and you see, uh... I believe that's... The same... Oh, yeah, they have the same, uh, logo for the Comrade Geo, so... My favorite thing about the ride watches is you can, uh, you can change the face plates and it'll do pretty much nothing. Like, it's just still say Gates. But the, that interchangeable uh, friggin' face plate is, um, is an amazing gimmick. Gates. 
Click. It, I think the phrase basically said the same thing as Yo from the last review, only instead of time, it's the future writer. And the third phrase? Time it also says time machine. So that's Hessian! If you don't press the button for these, its default is the transformation. But yeah, there's Gates, and you can see it was spelled the German way, I guess, or what's supposed to be the German way of G E I Z. Even though his name is normally spelled as like the English way to spell Gates, because I'm not. It has some sort of meaning in German. I don't remember. Something about a special set of gates. It's not the pearly gates, I don't think. And if it is, that's cool. And he does have a slightly different final attack. He has a time burst instead of a time break. Hmm. Who should we go next? Let's do another one for gates. Just how to remove them. Press down the green button. Because otherwise it's not going to... Uh, let's do Drive, because I said I have a story about this one. Now, this is actually the Gashapon, or candy toy version. I was looking on eBay for, uh, which ride watches I want, and I saw this one. I decided to buy it, but I didn't pay close enough attention to the picture. I thought I was buying the DX one until I looked closely at the eBay ad, and it was a cheaper eBay ad. It was under 20 bucks. I'm like... Wait, that doesn't make sense. I looked at the picture, and you can tell right away that the DX ones have lines dividing up where their helmet is, you know, for this mode, for that look. You could see the difference in the sticker on top versus the back that's translucent, while the Gashapon... Our candy toys don't have that, or just a solid picture. And also, you can't twist it. It's stuck in this position, and the batteries are now moved over here. And everything is activated from one button. This is kind of like a reset button. This does nothing. So th we can activate all the sounds actually without using the belt. And there is no LED as well. The red cop right, like the red cop rider, or the red uh, red car. Uh, it's something like. Let me listen to again. No. The red car cop rider who uses shift cars to fight is Lucy White says, Akai Kuma Kesat Rider, which is basically red car cop rider. Uh, Aka is red. Alright, like Akai. Uh, if it's saying red, I'm not 100% sure. If it's saying Aka or. But Kuma. Car, Kesat, Cop, Rider, obviously Rider. Uh, next phrase. Right. 
very kind of lame, let's just drive, drive! It's kind of a lame town, and you get the hisats. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use it in the belt, though. What you have to do to get the uh, properly... Uh, that's a reset button. To make it proper for the belt is you actually have to hold down the button... And now you can insert it in the belt, and it will activate the sound properly. Because if you don't do that, and you just stick it in, it will say that first line without spit, like when you spin it. Twenty fourteen, Jesus. And if you spin it again, you there's nothing to press on here to activate its final attack. It just automatically goes into the final attack. Finish the time. I heard it did say he thought this is not quite as loud. Alright, that's that. Let's do the next one. Let's do coming on your build. The first one they released for the toy line. What at the end of the uh, the build toy line? Because obvious. Uh, I like the blue and red. It stands out from. Well, I guess it, it doesn't really stand out because every ride watch is two different shades. But I just assume that like. Metallic gray, metallic gray, metallic like gunmetal gray, all three of them. That the ones that are actually brightly colored stand out a bit. So like X Aid guy. Uh, it has the build logo there, 2017. And you rotate it to shadow his face, which really fits well for the clock design. You can see it actually has like the ticking hands of a clock right there. All the lines indicate the there are only ten of them because we're missing, I guess, a couple. But press the button. Build. The genius rider who uses full bottles to fight is build. Let's transform. Let's armor up. Best match! Yeah! Alright, final. Finish time. And you get Vortex time burst. It's cool. That's the, uh, uh, well, we got 16 minutes. The unfor the biggest unfortunate thing I have about this is the toy feels like I can't play with it for very long. Like, I, the sound just feels so limited that I play with it for a few minutes. I'm like, okay, I don't want to really play with this again for a while. Like, you slide them in, you spin it around, and it's like, oh, okay. It's not as fun as I wanted it to be. At least for me, but uh, let's do Guy. So you got Guy's logo, 2013. Jeez, it's been a... And that looks kind of funny to me. My, my favorite thing, though, is to do this. Is to take this and do all orange. You can actually slightly tell there are different shades of orange, but...
uh, lock seeds, something about fruit. I can really full, get the full phase. Full phrase. Armor up, so to speak. Squash. Yeah. All right. So that's all of that, and we got one more before we have the the big one. We have the Geo. Not the Geo. <sighs> it's getting late. I should go to bed. The X Aid one. Basically, mm, well. Speaking of neon green, this isn't as obnoxiously. Ne this isn't even neon. This is just a regular shade of green compared to how neon the Ride Watch holder is. But yeah, I do like the pink and green. Too much pink energy is dangerous. Blah. We have X Aid's logo, which is just his face. 2016. Jeez. Even that feels like an eternity ago. Like, time is going way too fast. Ha ha ha. I think I'm funny. X-Aid. His hair doesn't really come across. The whole super... The Goku style hair doesn't really come across. It took me a long time to figure out whether that actually said game or M, the human identity of Comrade X8, but no, it's the Dr. Ryder who uses games to fight is build. Actually, let's switch riders because we don't really need gates anymore. If you enter it too fast, it will do that. And our final attack. Time break. So yeah, that's all, almost all, of the rider, or this the legend rider lock. Mm, I almost said locks, lock seeds. God, I love the lock seeds. They're still probably my favorite gimmick. If I had to choose a top three, it would be the Lock Seeds, the Gashats, and then the Ride Watches. But, we have this guy right here. The oblong, the, uh, the odd-shaped one of the family. This is the Decayed Ride Watch. It's not much different, but it is slightly, as you can tell by having its secondary rail system right there. And... Co the, the the character of Comrade Decade is very specific. It's not pink. It's magenta. You dare not tell him it's pink because you you'll walk in, or walk look you square in the face and tell you it's magenta. It looks like it's desi It's designed based off his deck driver or like his his face. Like those like those bars are the bar like on the ones that are on Decade's actual like helmet. Sculpt. It says decayed right there. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything like twist or anything. It has a bigger button than normal. 
it has its own release button because and I wish I wish these uh ride watches had off switches. That's another thing that bugs me. They don't have off switches. This thing can be used in conjunction with any other ride watch. So I'll get into that when it's attached to the belt, but let's listen to the sounds. D -d 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 decayed very much like apparently they brought back some of the like the original voice actors from Kamen Rider Decayed to voice some of the sound effects uh, like record new audio for sound effects something about the rider who uses all rider powers to fight Common Rider, 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 Rider. Something like that, but, uh, let's attach it. So this is Geo's, uh, mid-season power-up, so to speak. Like, I don't know if it's exactly mid-season, but this is what he uses. His first big power-up other than the regular ride watches. I think that's probably my favorite transformation jingle, is this is a WOW! WOW! DK I, I did that horribly, but oh well. And we do have a uh, final attack. We'll activate that first. It's a bit too heavy on this side. It, yeah, it's an attack time break because Decayed Signature is the attack ride. His, that's his name of his finisher. So, we have integration. Let's show it off. Give me a second. Basically, take any ride watch, even the, uh, ri the transformation ride watch, if you flip it upside down, it will fit in the other side you can see the the rail system it's just where the the, the nubs are which like because if I fit it in here it won't fit this way like well it will fit this way but it the nubs are what stop it what lock it in place basically so you can see just look at them there on different sides so that's we're gonna do all the ride watches if I can actually fit it in. Come on, there we go. And you can see just how heavy that is, but you get final form time. And his suit will change depending on which wire you use. Now you can, you do have a slightly different sound coming out of this for the attack. So if I do this. You get final attack time ride. But unfortunately, it doesn't add to the attack, it just stays at attack time break. It doesn't add X8 or anything, but unfortunate. But let's go through all of them. Just so you can get the idea. And that's literally all you need to do, because you don't need to do the attack again. I'm not going to. He doesn't do it in the show like that anyway. He he'll he'll put the uh, ride watches in his weapon to do. Fi uh, Final uh, attacks. And just to show you, it's 
it does have gates, and it even has geo. Yeah. Ooh, got to put everything in shot now. But uh, yeah, that's it for the ride watches and the ride watch holder. Uh, it's fun, but it's kind of like a limited amount of fun. I find. I'm tr I'm trying to think of uh, compared to other belts I have. Like the gamer driver is fun because you can in but it, the the swing you open is fun. You can close it and open it again for final attacks. The uh, I still love the Sengoku driver because you can like the slicing is fun and you can slice once, twice, or three times for fi for different final attacks. You can switch the face plates, which change the slightly different noise. Like, there's a bit more versatility in, say, the the, Genesis, the Sengoku driver or the Genesis driver. The Genesis driver, not as much, because it doesn't have the faceplate thing. But also, with the Sengoku driver, you can take out the Genesis core and put even more Loxies on it, kind of like this. This is It's similar to this. Uh, what else do I have? The build driver is fun. But... And it still, it feels a bit more limited as, like, it feels a bit limited as well. Sure, you can change up, constantly change the bottles, but unless you're doing the combos, like, none of the, just put two random ones in the belt have their own sound, which kind of make it boring after a bit. Mm -hmm. The Splash Driver is very limited on sound. And all of the belts I have, I don't feel like going into them. But this one, this one, I, I, it's fun. But it's not fun for a long time. It's fun for like a few minutes. Like I'll walk around with a belt on. I'll switch out each uh, ride watch, and then I'll put it down, and I won't think about it for a bit, and then. Eventually, I'll get the urge to play with it again, but it's not a belt I want to constantly play with. Like, I can't get that much fun out of it, unfortunately, which is a shame, because I really do like the idea of the ride watches. Like, they're a fun idea. I don't know how to change the execution of them, unfortunately, because I'm not a toy developer. I'm just a guy who buys toys. But that being said, this video has been way too long. Thank you for watching. I hope you still... Stuck around to the very end. Give me a hell yeah. And I'll see you next time. But until then, keep it weird.